talk about everything Play music in between Tune in on Sunday to my underground scene Talk, talk and music You know what I mean Tune in every Sunday Chance Underground Welcome. You are watching Chad's Underground Scene. My guests today are Sticky Doll. How you doing? We're doing great. Sancho and you Santa. look really. You look. You, did you join the band? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. You look like our newest member. That's awesome. I'm the new good bass player. <laughs> good bass, yeah, that's what I'm a good bass player. <laughs> nice. so, so how's it going up here in the high desert? Well, we're in our garage right now because yeah. it's too hot <laughs> to be anywhere else. That's right. <laughs> but uh, how's it going up here? We love it. We've been up here for God, almost three years, three years now. Yeah. yeah. We really like it. It's really cool. It's close enough to LA and shit like that if we need to go do so. But there's yeah. what's there to do these days. <laughs> yeah, and, and yeah. there's no gigs. So this show is all about underground. So what's the underground scene here like? You're looking at it. This is it. <laughs> This is literally it. This is it, yeah. Yeah. All of us musicians have to do this kind of stuff now. This and creative our garages and yeah. filming and shows and stuff like this. Yeah. So are any of the bars or clubs open up here at all? Actually, I just noticed last night, there's a place called Landers Brewery. It's a small little place out in the middle of nowhere. Jessica played there last night, Jessica Von Rabbit. Why did I just um, give her a promo? Juice. I don't know. But anyway. So they're, but they're out, they've got a little outdoor stage and they, they're, like they're, a patio. yeah, and they're strict yeah. about the social distancing and, and all is that, that what Joshua Tree Saloon's doing as well? Because I, I know don't they have know an that outdoor they're area. doing much. I, I haven't think, seen I that they're doing shit. I haven't heard that they're doing anything. Because oh, I've played there quite a few times okay. in the, oh, and they have an outdoor area. They always the put me outdoors do, for, yeah. for probably a good reason. Yeah. They put me outside instead of inside. <laughs> well, they have a lot more traffic. Landers is out in Landers and it's on a dirt road and yeah, but Joshua Tree Saloon is at the corner of the turnoff for the park. It's, yeah, it's right that's there. right and where the tour is. So are. I would guess yeah. that they wouldn't on the risk in Probably And it's probably yeah. super slow right yeah. now with people. But you know, one of the places up here that we've played at a number of times and we put on a few music festivals at, to, like, because we've done some uh, animal things to raise money for animals and stuff up there, is a place called Gaudi's. And he's just basically out of yeah. business. Yeah, I've played there as well. Yeah, yeah. and it's cool as hell, yeah, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. and his back dead. room is amazing. He's just dead. Yeah. Just dead. That's <laughs> amazing. All right, I'm going to start off with uh, a song by you guys, Eleanor Rigby. Oh, so, cover. so yeah. let me clarify. So when when we do, uh, okay, so we're Sticky Doll, and our thing is I play a bass, and it sounds like a guitar and all that. We have no guitar. But we have a 360 degree thing we do. We're still Sticky Doll, but don't tell anybody. We call ourselves the Desert Queens. <laughs> not the Desert Queens, Desert, Desert Queens. Queens. Desert Queens. Who are not Sticky Doll, and they play nice, pretty 12-string music. Nice. nice. But so here is but, Desert Queens. But they're, they're, they're Desert Queens when they do this. They're not Sticky Doll, so let's just clarify that. Why don't I just grab my glasses? Well, if you're going to be a Desert Queen, you I need to be I a Desert to. Queen. These are, this is the Desert Queen. One. Now, if you join the, de the de Desert Queens, we will get you. I will get a set of those right. glasses. Awesome. I'm in. Maybe if you don't join, we'll get Because they're just pretty cool. Dollar store chat up on the Dollar corner. Tree. Dollar hey. Tree. Alright. And here you are, Desert Queens. Ready?
the church and the Feel free to sing in with us. We nice. can use a little the thing. Thank you. <laughs> awesome. So all let's right. get all the names straight. We have El Sancho down here on the end. Okay, take these off now. Now we're sticky though. Oh. Yeah. El Sancho. Yeah. If I did and uh, we have Senna and uh, introducing Sticky Doll. I don't know who those other people were that just yeah, dropped in here. And then me, yeah. Joseph Joshua. <laughs> you can tell by the lipstick. I like that, Joseph Joshua. That's like a good it. stage name for yeah. out here. I like that a lot. <laughs> and we're going to go with one that's on the uh, new Big Mess record. Has never been performed live until this minute. Wow. Yeah. This one we're here the first? is called Faith. Anyway, up here. that was very good. Cheers. Let, let me be the first to say, and we're the first ones to hear that song, right? Yes. Dude, yes. That, that's a good 
That's a good crowd. Get the crowd going. Yeah, shit! Oh, that's yeah. a good shit! Anthem. I was just hearing that. I don't know. Maybe it's very Motley Crue. Or something. I was it's just like an anthem shit. of 2020. Shit. I swear to God. Yeah. It's a little mixed between the death rock and the. Uh, and see, the real rock. see, you, you, when you put the shit on, uh, Chad. When you put the stuff on, it yeah. does, it right. It makes you feel. A yeah. Oh yeah. It turns you. Yeah. Brings you into right the uh, into light. Yeah. That, that's how we feel. <laughs> We do our show. We do our show on Sunday, and I'm all like, you know, because uh, we're up early. We do it at 11. But once I start putting the makeup on, I used to hear Kiss say it in interviews. You just all of a sudden you're like, okay, you feel like it's time to perform. You know, ready to rock. Yeah. yeah. Not just okay. I'm gonna you put my pants on and my shirt, and I'm Literally. gonna go get on stage. You know. That's right. All right. So uh, tell us a little bit. So we were talking about the underground. Tell us a little bit about your festival that you run. Well, let's see. The main thing that we've done, now am I talking to you or am I talking to the camera? Am I talking yeah, to you the camera, or am I talking probably to the, the camera? best, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, we, we did a festival, was it two years ago or three? Two, I think, right? I think four and three. November two years ago. <laughs> November, yeah, November two years ago, called Sticky Fest. Something we want to do, wanted to do every year. Uh, it's a big festival out at the Palms Restaurant out in Wonder Valley, our favorite venue, which we were kind of hoping to do this today, yeah. but it's just yeah, it's brutally hot, hot out there. 120 in the shade right today. today. Yeah, it's yeah. very hot. Um, it's hotter out there. But shit, what do we have? Uh, 10 bands, 12 bands, you know? 12? And, uh, you know, the thought was, it was kind of to support the scene up here. Uh, the scene up here being, we're high desert, low deserts like Palm Springs, Palm Desert. Desert Spring, that's kind of that area, but we're all the desert kind of a thing. So I reached out. Now this is when we first kind of moved here, so I didn't know a lot of the bands. Yeah. So I kind of did homework and, you know, Throw the Goat, you might have heard of them. They yeah. play at Dollhut quite a bit, things like that. So I discovered who the punk metal bands were that we thought we liked. Mm -hmm. And we put together a festival. Long story short, it turned out really good. Um, was a lot of fun, had a great turnout, uh, and we wanted to do it every year. So last year, we had these last minute issues that came up out of our control with the venue, so we couldn't do it. This year we're fucked, for obvious reasons. <laughs> COVID-19. <laughs> Wind. Now, that venue though, once things start kind of opening up, we can do, that's the place to do shit, because it's outdoors. They have that big dome stage, and they, yeah. they did it for a little while. They were doing things on Saturdays where, uh, because they, they got like picnic tables out there and stuff and as long as you did the social distancing and everybody did the mask when they were in, in proximity and all that it worked out great so I think I think it would be it would behoove us not that I have hooves but it would behoove us to when things kind of start opening up to be one of the first people to put together a goddamn festival and because yes. people are jonesing to go out right and jonesing for live music so there may be a place yeah Screaming Chicken has actually been open. So Where is that? That's out there in Devor. Screaming Chicken. Yeah. I haven't so heard that. have I heard of so that? So I'll uh, I'll call them up and we'll see if we can put something together. For I'll, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll help you out. We'll do it together. Yeah. 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 That'd be yeah. awesome, dude. Yeah. You have to wear the black lips, though. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, no, but sure. not just when you play. Like when you're at home. Yeah. When I'm at when home. When you're on Facebook okay. promoting, yep. you always have to do it. <laughs> That's it. I mean, you got to live it, Chad. <laughs> I'm hooked. I'm hooked. Okay. Stick it all Okay, so now it's time to do a song together. So we're going to do one of your originals yeah. called Weird. Weird. Tell us all about it. Well, um... This is your baby. Yeah. <coughs> I just was feeling emotional one day and I sat down and wrote this song. Um, we like actually had like a big argument, like a big fight. And I was, and I just was feeling like, you know, you just don't understand me. And so I wrote the song that was kind of about, literally, it's kind of a true story about how I grew up and like just telling my partner, like, please stick around. Go ahead and grab Growing up in the projects. <laughs> yeah, I mean, grew up, I grew up in the projects. My mother did, was doing a lot of drugs and... I don't need it. So, it's just, it's just about my life and I don't know. Well, the, well, this is why I'm the way I am. And this is why you're, yeah. Yeah. So. Which is fucking weird. weird. Which, is, which is actually not. Well, weird. weird. I right? have been called weird. No, everybody else is weird. 
No, everyone's <laughs> called me weird. I've always right, found but, out but later. The truth is, the truth I thought that else, everybody yeah. else was weird, and then I found out they were all calling me weird. Right, but once you grew up and realized you weren't the weird one, it was them. Those motherfuckers are the weird ones. That's right. right. Then I realized. And then the other relevant thing with this song is it's the second song we wrote together. Yeah. Like oh, we started sweet. Sticky Doll in 2016. Our, our our claim to fame flagship song, Snotty Little Cunt, was our first song. <laughs> then Red Won't Come Out. Won't come now out. these are on our first CD. So yeah. And then Red Won't Come Out. Then we were wrote Weird. So these are on our first EP oh. from 2016. Red yeah. Won't Come Out. Yeah. So the first one came out with a song with a lot of meaning to you. That is yeah. that is awesome. And Snotty Little Cunt had a lot of meaning to me. If you know yeah. That there was you go. based on a true <laughs> yeah. story as well. And those are the best songs, right? When they For tell sure. a story that's oh, yeah. so deep, right? It's, yeah, it's awesome. both based on real events. So I'm honored to play this cool. with you. That's, and we're excited. That's amazing. We play never... a song that has that much meaning. Is mm -hmm. yeah, and we've never had anybody play music with us with sticky doll music because yeah. it's usually bass driven and all that. So this is very cool for us. Yeah. So here we go. That was cool. weird. That was weird on the board. That's right. I like it, cool. dude. That's cool, man. Thank yeah, you. Cool. So, what is the plans for Sticky Doll going forward? Well, we're kind of in our plan, I guess. Mm -hmm. We are doing our Sunday show on Facebook Live streaming, which we're gonna try to 
get this software thing where we can broadcast at YouTube, Twitch, and all these other places. Mm -hmm. um, it's a Sunday show, like your show, yeah. right? I don't know what you call it—a a video yeah, cast. I, yeah, that one's a live stream, and I've watched it several times. Yeah. And uh, and you have some amazing special guests. I mean, oh. huge stars. We've had we've huge, had huge, huge stars. Vince Neil, I don't know how you get them. It's crazy. <laughs> You know how we get them? I have to see. This. But um, we're having a lot of fun, and I guess in, in, in a nutshell, it's called Sticky In Bed with Sticky Doll. We're in bed, we're in our underpants, we're in full stage makeup, and it's just we have fun. And nothing, we don't, we don't, nothing, it's just us being silly. Like on a day to day, we're just fucking wacky. You know, we're a couple, we play music. We're sarcastic. We laugh all the time about stupid shit. Yeah, That's stupid our show. Stuff. We have a lot of fun. Yeah. We have guest call in, callers in. We have some characters we've kind of created ourselves. Mr. Announcer Man and yeah. stuff like oh, yeah. that. <laughs> it's yeah. just, I, uh, look, I'm not being arrogant, but that show is fucking funny. <laughs> I want, I when, funny. when I watch it back and I have to cut up the videos, you know, to kind of make little promo videos, I'm like, this is fucking funny. We just need the right people to see it, to get behind it, and help us do yeah. something. Yeah. <laughs> to go, hey! And, and I'll tell you, I have fun watching it, and a lot of times I watch mm. it from my bed. Yeah. And now... In your underpants. Okay. Now I'm hooked with this this makeup thing, yeah. so probably next time I'll put the makeup on, and then well, you have Joseph to, Joshua will yeah. be watching your And show. you have to be in your underpants. That's the thing. Because <laughs> I tell everybody, take off your pants and join us in bed. That's, that's, that's the tagline. Take yeah. off your pants, basically. But... In all seriousness, we we're going to have you as a guest, Chad. Mm -hmm. We talked about maybe next right, week. Yeah. Maybe we'll, we'll clarify it. Yeah. So you will call in and you will pimp your show and cool. talk. We'll talk about whatever you want, and there might be a secret a, yeah. celebrity call in. Uh, yeah. I don't know who that's going to be. That'll be amazing. We'll figure that out. <laughs> and and I'm, sh I'm sure they're going to be honored to be on the show with me, that exactly. secret celebrity. Yeah, I, yeah let me that goes without saying. I didn't mean to say that. When they see my you're social the media, they're going to be trying <laughs> to get, of another. get some of those people into the Yeah, audience. I didn't mean to suggest that you weren't the celebrity. <laughs> yeah, we might have another. This will be a dual celebrity call in, right? Lots of celebrities. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll be fun, just like this. this is, it, it's actually, I don't know about you, but we have a lot of fun doing that show. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's what it's, it's about. It's still performing. It's really fun. Yeah. We, we, we do our little Desert Queen. We still play music. You and know, this is our fun. venue now. It is. That's, we yeah. don't have a venue to go to and play, if right? If you watch people performing online, this is their venue, their garage. Yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> yeah, I built a studio downstairs in my house in the basement. And, that's you where I'm broadcasting to. from, right? Yeah, yeah. That's, thank God you did that, hey. You know, you look marvelous, as Billy Crystal would say. <laughs> that is a good look for you, dude. I'm telling you. You know, it's so good with the glasses and the hat. It really looks good. Yeah, you're going to see it. Yeah, it looks really good. Okay, yeah. now let's do Killboy Powerhead. Killboy Powerhead. Powerhead. Now, Sticky doll. Now, I, now, I'm a promotion <laughs> machine, so when you go to air this live, I'll be promoting it, and when you do some clips, I'll be, you know, I'm a social media whore, self-proclaimed. Right. So, I want to give the proper proper credit to the song. It is by The Digits, not yes. The Offspring. And, Curtis, and thanks to social media these days, you can make friends and connect with, you know, uh, your favorite bands and people. I mean, nine times out of ten, they've got people working for them and all that but like I made friends with Brad Brad uh, the drummer from the digits yeah he, uh, the, and then it turns out we had a mutual friend that lived up here and so me and Brad have kind of become friends Rick's his brother Rick was the front man I've chatted with him a couple times you know he's cool he's the songwriter the main dude you know so I've kind of said hey man you know we love you guys and and we got we got their thumbs up on our version yeah. of Killboy yeah. Power I love so, that. It's really cool. so anytime we play this, I like to give credit where it's due. So is this Sticky Doll or is that other oh, band going to crash? Yeah, hang on. Uh, Desert Queens is going to come in and uh, do Killboy Powerhead. Desert Queens is going to cover Sticky Doll covering Digit. Okay, let me go get the Desert, Desert Queens. Yeah. Okay. Shh, yeah, this is going to be time. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on in. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we'll be right there, Chad. Hold on. We'll be right there. We're on the desert, you know. Hey. Okay. Hey. Hi. Yeah. Hi, Chad. Okay. Oh, hey. Uh, introducing wow. Desert Queens. Cool place. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, we haven't actually played this one in a while. See. He's a kill boy powerhead. Kill boy powerhead. 
Kill boy power head. Kill boy power head. Yeah. Awesome. No, no. Oh, so, uh, oh, can oh. you go get those guys from Sticky Doll? Yeah. 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 While I play this next song. Sure. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. And uh, just to clarify, we're not Sticky Doll. We are Desert Queen. Desert Queen. Who are not Sticky Doll. Right. Run over there and grab those guys yeah. from Sticky Doll. Great, great. And uh, I'm going to play this song called No Way Out. It's for the uh, you people that have been uh, really tied up in this uh, pandemic here. This is called No Way Out. Can you feel it? The monsters in my head They come to life They whisper in my ear What do they say? No one No one gets out of here alive There's no way out No way out There's no way out
been waiting to moonwalk to that one. That was really good. Now we're talking. See? No way out. There, I've heard this a few times, that's why I know it. I know this song, I'm very familiar with it. And there was a little gym walk for you there. And, Chad, that was very good. And look, this is the zip goes in the jar. Look at that, $2 bill. That's yeah, we're racking one. it up. After this, we're going to be able to uh, probably buy a pizza no, or something. Yeah. <laughs> I got to take that back. I'll take it back. Yeah. Hey, hey. Okay, so now that we have Sticky Doll back here, I guess we can do a song together with oh, yeah. Sticky Doll and uh, Joseph Joshua, El Sancho, Yay. Senna. We're yeah. all here. We're all here. <laughs> Let's do it. And we're gonna do a uh, an old standard here. Are we cramps in it? What's that? Oh no no, we're doing horse of money. Yeah. Okay. All right. Mr. Unprepared, hang on. <laughs> oh, nice. This is a professional show, right? Professional show. We tune to the right key. Totally. And we do it while the camera's on. Right. That even makes it more professional. Hey, we're punk rock people. <laughs> but technically, we're Chad, stars. We're, we're punk rock background. Yeah. So, I mean, fuck. If we got it's. a tune, oh, I'm sorry, is this a family show? Yeah, it's a family show. Oh, well, our F. family. Yes. Uh, our family of Oh, weirds. our family. Okay. Because <laughs> I try, not, I try to keep yeah. all the swearing of for in bed with the kiddo. That's not the greatest. That's a good name for a band, the weirds. Oh, that sounds great. That's great. Okay. The weirds. That's your ball.
with those harmonies. Because we yes. butchered them. <laughs> No, no but I like it sounded good. That is one of those songs. Yeah. I know it's so old school and like it's not in any way rock or punk or anything. That to me is a really beautiful song. I've always liked that song ever since I've heard that as a little kid. And it's like the epitome of a desert song. Oh right? yeah. Yeah. yeah and here we are. In the middle of the desert. The of the and, desert. And yeah. FYI, I'm not tipping it for that one because we both did it. <laughs> That's right, so. yeah. We put our work in on that I don't one. see him tipping us when we <laughs> Right, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Although we don't have a thing out either. <laughs> we'll do it on Venmo. Okay. That's right. Yeah. That was good, dude. Thank you. That was awesome. That was yeah. Fun. So fun. All right. So for this next bit here, we're going to have bass oh, on my right. So he's I gonna, love to play bass. He's yeah. going to do a quick swap over to the bass, and we're going to do a little uh, underground punk. Music. It's hard to moonwalk in... in it's Walmart desert sandals. slippers. Desert <laughs> slippers, they call them. And this one here goes out to Lux Interior. This doesn't fit. Uh, <laughs> this thing falls over the brakes. I don't agree with something. Okay, so we're in A on this one. Yeah. Old, old El Sancho over here learned it wrong. <laughs> Down to the moon comes up. Is that good? Rest in peace, awesome Lux. Song. Awesome band. Yeah, a, that band is fun. They're oh like very B-52s ish, but like a like a uh, 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 what's the word I'm looking for? Kind of horror, rockabilly, a little bit more. Not as quite as surfy. Yeah, when we're listening to all the Tramp songs. We're yeah. like, damn, we and, love this. And yeah. how awesome were we with all the instrument changes and? Well, oh, I got amazing. Say. Pretty so, awesome. And no editing. No editing. None. We did all that Idiots. on the fly. Amazing. Yeah. I know. So to uh, round the show out, let's. Uh, Tell us how we can get a hold of all of your stuff and anything underground. Okay, well, 
to get a hold of our stuff, we are everywhere any music is online. You can buy it directly from you know stickydoll.com, Bandcamp, whatever. If you're a streamer, everywhere like everybody else, Spotify and Apple Music, just type Sticky Doll. Simple. I mean, that's it. We're everywhere. I mean, we're huge, Chad. We have millions of followers. Millions. Sweet. And I don't know if you've seen our show. We on probably time. have some crossover followers. We have yeah. potentially trillions of followers on the show. Uh, anyway, I'll talk in a side. Go to our Bandcamp though, because we have our merch there. Our cool. Sticky doll t-shirts that I somebody put happened to put up. <laughs> anyway, we got some fun shirts. You we can got, always personal message El Sancho. Yeah, I and, live on yeah. Facebook. I'm ashamed to say because I hate We send Facebook. a lot of stuff out. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, but uh, yeah, I'm very accessible. I mean, I act like an arrogant ass on our show and all that, but I'm a very nice guy. I think Chad can attest to yes, that, hopefully. Yes, yes. And we're a very accessible band, and we've actually got quite a lot of fans overseas that have just reached out and I've said, hey, here, let me send you our shit. And yeah. that works, you know, because then they tell their friend, you know. They it, take pictures. Hey, with their we're not paying rent the these farms. days with music. I don't, I don't know who it is, but we ain't. Yes, we're not yeah. paying rent with music sales and t-shirt sales. <laughs> so we like it. Yeah. We, we like our shit out. But every bit, yeah, every little bit helps. So. Yeah, of course. And by the way, you've done a great job today, Chad. In fact, I'm just going to, you know what? I'm just going to give you some mother load. Yeah, oh, sweet. It's been fun. So generous. All right, so we're so going to be generous. able to afford another show here. This is we're on the string awesome. budget. <laughs> and uh, you can get a hold of my stuff uh, at lordcashpockets.com because cash is king. <laughs> it is. I like that. Lord Cash Pockets. And it goes and, uh, in your pockets. That's cool. You are watching Extreme Radio at theextreme.net. And it's Chad signing off. Thank you for coming out to Chad's Underground Scene with Sticky Doll. We're thankful to have us, Chad. <laughs> Thanks so much. What a blast. Okay, let's, come on. See y'all. Thanks for coming out. We talk about everything, play music in between. Tune in on Sunday to my underground scene. Sunday